And part of it, yeah, it does. But this stuff works great, and this is not just for sun. We you actually use it, you know, like if you've got bug bites, yep. or to give you protection, you basically do a, a thin coating of this. Yep. This, um, we, you know, part of it is, I don't know where I should get it. This is from a company called Solar Sense. Yeah, we've got lots There's of bottles of this stuff, folks. But there are other ones that also have a, a spray, and actually they have them for kids as well as for adults. Yeah, and the kids generally will have, um, kid, here's another one. Uh, kids will, gen will often have a bug spray additive. Don't look for the look for the children's thing that has no D E E T in it. No, no DEET. DEET. Mm -hmm. Which is also really good. Also, here's another formula right here. This one. Actually, let's, let's talk about this one. Is that our ESPN one or? No, actually, we'll go on to this. Um, no, this is a different one. Um, uh -huh. You missed a spot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so part of it is there are all these nooks and crannies in the body that you don't think are going to be exposed to the sun, but part of it is you do move. No, we'll, we'll, we'll give you an example. She went to the beach in her zipper bikini and laid down and basically, uh, you know, she had her skirt on and her, and her shirt on and she laid down. Was, what happened was <laughs> the whole area on the back side of the legs was exposed to the sun and areas you generally don't put uh, suntan lotion on. Mm -hmm. Those you got to remember, suntan lotion everywhere folks because girls yeah. do lay down. Well and the other thing people don't think about is like I've got long hair so I, I'm thinking I don't need sun protection for my hair. I actually, they're actually in the car, <laughs> they're not in here. So I actually do have sprays for sun protection for my hair. Yeah and, and, and on, she also does have UV protected hats. Mm -hmm. Which means you got a hat for you. That's right, because people, their heads, hair, the heads, scalp area burns the worst of well, all. You know, especially, and you don't have to be bald. No. Okay, you can actually have a full head of hair, and because see, part of it is you know it separates, and you've got a little right. bit of skin showing, and, and you're not going to sit there and take this and then go like this. No, you don't, because it messes your hair up. I know. Then it gets oily. So it's just like they have UV swimsuits, UV T-shirts. They yeah. have UV hats. The other part people always tend to overlook is the tops of their ears. Oh, I know. I don't. Because you know, my ears stick out. Your, your neck and, you know, and the back of the neck, they never do the back of the neck. Like Nobody does the back of the neck. Oh, although I will tell you, I'm guilty of not doing the back of my neck, but I do have my hair covering it. Yeah, and then we just, we just warned you about the hair not working right, so... Part of it is when we do these things, I'm reminded of all the things that I don't do right either, and I know better. I know, so part of it is if I'm doing that, I know you're probably not. Yeah, we, we do go out in the sun every time we have an opportunity. We don't go out on holiday weekends, but we do go out in the sun. Mm -hmm. um, also, here's the other thing people always do is they, they talk about not doing um, adding SPF together. Now here's part of it is, is I have... A lot of the makeups have um, SPF in them already, SPF 15 or SPF 30, just in the regular foundation or in the lotion. Okay, so there's two mistakes people do in that is they think that the makeup is doing the work. In other words, my makeup has an SPF of 30, so I don't need anything else on. Wrong. Makeup will fry you because it's oil based. Okay, wrong. Okay, so you can't just um, rely on that. The other part is, is that you also have powders with an SPF. This one is, this is by Color Science, which, and this is a clear one. Now the great part about this is this is mineral sun protection. It's an SPF 30, and it's great for just dusting over. It's great for doing updates, and I have one that I actually keep in the car. And this is movie industry stuff that's been developed for people in the film business and it's basically been passed on to the uh, regular people now because actors, uh, you can't have an actor or actress get burnt while they're no. on camera in the sun. And this takes the shine out of your face. This one's a clear one. But m very importantly, this is by, you ready for this? This is recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation. There actually is one. And um, they've got some guidelines as to what they think will qualify or not. But anytime you see their logo on it, you know that it meets the qualifications. But this is great. This one's in an orb. My other one is actually in a vial, and then you just, you know what I mean? You just you just powder on. And that one's actually pretty easily easily findable. Yeah, you can find it pretty easy. Um, so, and that's one of my favorite things. Okay, I'm lucky I actually have anything left. It's only the other ones too. Right. 
sometimes people are super sensitive about skincare and they so sometimes people are super sensitive and they don't realize it. There are some people, for example, um, um, like the medications, if you haven't tried it before, you might want to try it in a small little area. Yeah. But there <laughs> That's just from, it works the same, because like I said, I tell people I'm a vet. You don't ever put anything on any living tissue unless you try it in a really tiny patch area first to see if you react to it. But people do react badly to some mm -hmm. This stuff you got in front of us is general, but there's X amount of people in this country that will have an adverse reaction to everything you see there. Well, another part that might have changed is you could be taking a medication that makes you more sensitive to the sun than you realize. And sometimes when you take the medications, they tell you that it may make you more sensitive. Also, if you're using retinol, Mm -hmm. On your face, fade creams, um, some of the other products, they'll tell you, do not go out in the sun. That's right. You do the um, you do the hair grow. It works the same if you're doing the uh, hair. Because I know my, okay, people say, well, you were putting hair growth something on a little baby. Yeah, because we're talking my youngest was born totally bald and didn't have hair growth in normal. So we were putting hair growth stuff on her head, you know, under doctor's prescription. And we were told she never could go out without a hat on. Mm -hmm because the hair was always that fine. It took like a five, six years for her hair to come in. But she had a real thick head of hair. Finally, yeah. Oh, yeah, but it was paid for. It was paid for. Yeah. But you cannot wear that. Also, senior citizens have a problem because um, senior citizens have age spots. Look at the stuff that, uh, uh, you know, what happens, their freckles will merge together when you're a senior citizen. Mm -hmm. And they'll put this stuff on your face to bleach out the age spots. It tells you don't go out in the, you know, it tells you have to go out in the sun, but don't put suntan lotion over this stuff because it, mm -hmm. it, because it, it doesn't work. So, uh, you know, you just pour so on or something like that, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I and know. see, part of it is people forget about those things. Yeah, they do make a difference. Another area people tend to forget about, this is like one of those areas you're not supposed to forget about, like doing all of your spots. Yep. Lips. Yep. Chapsticks almost all have um, uh, STP stuff in it now. So, I um, mean, this, this is not new. People just haven't paid any attention to it. Yeah. This one is a sunscreen. This one's got SPF 30. I know. Uh, fortunately, a lot of them have it on their your nose, your lips. Another area people forget about are their eyes. Yeah. Women, basically, especially, because... A woman will put stuff on her eyes that are bad for going out in the sun in. Mm -hmm. You want to see a really bad burn is a, a woman who puts stuff on her eyelids and doesn't realize it's an oil base and it basically fries her. I know, you're going, what? Yeah, if you're doing those cream foundations on your eyes, yep. usually the safest thing to do on the makeup is wear as little as possible, yep. right? Or use the powders, especially if you're going out in the sun. Yeah. It does make a difference. And the other one that isn't actually on here, actually, is your eyewear. Actually, you know what? We can go into a whole nother. These are the biggest mistakes. No, but no, we're going to go into some other ones um, no, where we're talking about eyewear and hats. But we will tell people about eyewear because she has the starting of cataracts for a one simple reason is that um, she was uh, had improper eyewear at the beach. Mm -hmm. and, and it's always had improper eyewear at the beach. We didn't know. Until a uh, doctor, you know, uh, you know, she had to go but she had to take advantage of getting her eye checked because she needed to get some. She wanted to get new glasses, and the doctor basically gave her a lecture. Oh, I mean, we're talking 45 people went in and out while I'm sitting there waiting for her to come out just to get a prescription to get a new set of glasses made, and the doctor is going, you know, telling her you. You got to start a cataracts because you've been wearing your transition glasses are not really good well, for a person know, I, to wear. I didn't think about it. Okay. Well, and I, part of it is a lot of people. Go, oh, actually, what should we get? But I have transition have glasses, so we're going to yeah. do. We'll do another thing on sunglasses. But just in sun care, this is a huge mistake yeah. that people make: is that they need to wear glasses that wrap around the face, and to wear a hat. She she wore the hat, but she wore. Transition. I wear transition glasses. I don't know how many people have transition glasses. They are they're flat out not recommended to be worn out as sunglasses. And well, and part of it is you totally forget about it yep. because they turn darker. So then you're like, oh, I don't need sunglasses, and you don't think about it because they turn darker. Yeah, but she found out the hard way. You know, as they told her, 
you know, you know, she's a relatively young lady and told she's got to start a cataracts now. Which means eventually she will have to have, we're, we're forestalling by doing everything the doctor told us to do, which is an important thing on this, uh, the th mistakes that people make is they wear improper sunglasses to the beach. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't cost you a lot of money, unless you're an Asian and have an Asian nose, to get a proper set of sunglasses. Mm -hmm. An athletic set of sunglasses is the best because they wrap around your face. They really do. But you have to cover the eye, you have to cover that area, not just a small side, but you've got to cover that side entirely so no sun can get in to the side of her eyes because it's what happened with her. Well, well you can see, she's got, these were her transition glasses. If you look at the side when she turns around, look at the, where the sun gets into the eyes on the side. You can't do that. When you go to the beach, wear a set of glasses with the sun where it's blocked out, which is a bigger frame. You may not be beautiful looking, but you can get them because we actually did get a really nice set of glasses. But uh, you can get them, but don't go to the beach without the right sunglasses. Yeah, that makes all the difference in the world. It really does. But these are, okay, this is not a spring chick, the bikinis are. These are the biggest sun, pr sun protection mistakes that people you need a lot of them. Well, that's okay. I still do it too, but you know, part of it is you keep getting better. The fewer mistakes you do, the better off you are. Yeah, but we still inadvertently will do the same, some of the same stupid things over and over, and we do know better. Mm -hmm. We flat out do know better. I mean, I know, for instance, we have a, the only thing that we actually maintain a strict thing on is she has a three hour time limit out in the, in, the, in the sun, no matter what. That one we adhere to, but we don't always adhere to the sun protection, which we should. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we, we do screw up in that area because we're filming and we will forget what we're doing. So. I know. Call it focused on another area. Meanwhile, thank you for joining us and follow us on Twitter and Facebook and check out, of course, our webpage at moneybubbles.net for more information. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.